today we're going to learn about impresarios that came to Texas with settlers. Before we learn about these impresarios and what they did, we're going to look at a few vocabulary words that you will hear through this video. The first word we're going to look at is independence. To be independent or have your independence means that you are free from control of another country. Territory is an area of land. Abandon means to give something up completely. A grant is written permission given to someone to settle a land. An impresario is a person who is granted the right to settle an area. Their job is to bring people to live on land. A colony is a group of people who are living together in a foreign land. Now that we've learned our vocabulary words, it's time for us to learn about impresarios coming to Texas with the settlers. Fighting between Spanish-born citizens in New Spain and Mexican-born citizens who wanted the Spanish to leave went on for several years. There were also many others fighting for the Spanish to get out of Texas. Two of these people were Dr. John Long, who was killed in his attempt to make the Spanish leave. The other person was a pirate named John Lafitte, who attacked Spanish ships off the coast of Texas. In 1821, Mexico won independence from Spain. Territory north of the Rio Grande, including Texas, became part of Mexico. Augustine de Iturbide declared himself emperor of Mexico, but his rule did not last long. Mexico had many more leaders over the next few years. The fighting over control of Mexico has caused many of the Texas settlements to fall apart and become abandoned. The new country of Mexico was worried that you, the United States might take over the Texas land because there were so few Mexican settlers there. The Mexican government decided to issue grants to people who would come settle in Texas. These gifts of land were given to the impresarios, who found settlers and brought them to different parts of Texas with the permission of the Mexican government. These settlers had to agree to follow Mexican law and honor the Catholic religion. Tejanos, or Mexican citizens who had come to settle in Texas while it was still under the control of Spain, were already living there. These settlements were at San Antonio de Bear and Nacogdoches. Two of these Tejanos were a father and son named Erasmo and Juan Seguin. They played a very important role in helping the new Texians, as they became known, to get settled and taught the Texians the best way to survive in this new land. Before Mexico won its independence from Spain, a man from Missouri named Moses Austin asked for permission from the Spanish government to bring American families to settle Texas. Moses Austin was given permission to do so, but he became very sick and was not able to finish gathering the settlers. His son, Stephen F. Austin, asked the Spanish government if he might continue his father's work. They agreed and Stephen F. Austin became the first impresario in Texas. He picked out land along the Brazos River in South Texas and started to gather settlers and supplies for the new colony. Other impresarios who founded colonies in Texas included Martin de Leon and Green DeWitt. Martin de Leon started a settlement at the Guadalupe Victoria with 12 Mexican families who were joined later by American and Irish settlers. Green DeWitt had an agreement with the Mexican government to settle 400 families on land to the south and west of Austin's colony. He did not know that de Leon's settlement was within this land. The Mexican government said that de Leon's settlement could continue where it was. DeWitt went ahead and brought settlers to the area anyway. The town of Gonzales, part of DeWitt's colony, was attacked by native Texans and many settlers escaped to the Austin colony. The colony had a difficult time growing, but the population eventually did reach about 400. 
Many other colonies were started in Texas by impresario. These included settlements of Irish, German, Mexican, and American colonists, and others. Almost all of the early colonies were in southern, eastern, and central Texas. The high plains and mountains and basins regions were not well settled until much later for several reasons. Among those reasons were poor sources of water, poor soil, which was thought to be unsatisfactory for growing crops, harsh weather, and fear of attacks from tribes such as the Comanche and Apache.